It's 8 p.m. Hello and welcome to the Friday edition of the City Newsroom. My name is Freeman Edunyami. And my name is Nathan Kwao. Coming up. Men's Gold customers vowed to explore several avenues to retrieve their locked up investments with gold dealership company Men's Gold. Workers of PMMC call off their strike. And 10 students vow for the ultimate prize as the grand finale of CCFM's Literacy Challenge comes off tomorrow. Now the details. Workers of the Precious Minerals Marketing Company, PMMC, have called off their strike. The aggrieved workers, numbering about 50 yesterday, laid down their tools and demanded the dismissal of the managing director of the company, Koju Opari Hammond, and the board for circumventing the procurement processes. The second day of the sit-down strike by some workers of the Precious Minerals Marketing Company, PMMC, saw little to no activity on the premises of the company. A few red bands could be seen on some part of the compound. Some workers were also spotted wearing red armbands, while many others went without it. The story was, however, different on the fifth floor of the PMMC headquarters from 11 p.m. to 4.20 p.m. as aggrieved workers with support from the Ghana Mine Workers Union engaged the managing director and members of the PMMC board to find solutions to their grievances. The parties at exactly 4.20 p.m. emerged from the closed-door meeting to issue a communique. Kwejo Pariahamon is the MD of PMMC and he spoke with City News after the meeting. We all admit that uh, this uh, demonstration came about because there were communication gaps. So we are taking steps to make sure that those gaps would be closed, they would no longer exist. I will deal with them. Um, so if it means in fact calm is restored and uh, we will go about our duties effectively for Monday. Following men's goals postponement of the date of resuming the payments of the extra values of their customers, scores of customers of men's gold earlier today thronged the xylophone media head office at East Legon demanding answers from the company over the unpaid extra values. The gold dealership company had scheduled today as the payment day of the extra values of the customers after failing to do that on Wednesday. Despite men's goals postponement of the paying of the extra values of their customers today, a number of the customers still visited various branches of the gold dealership company to demand their investments. They were met with empty offices with security presence at the premises. At the headquarters of Men's Gold in Jolu, customers who visited the office marched to the headquarters of a subsidiary company of Men's Gold, Xylophone Media, after not getting any response on their concerns. <laughs> Former President John Mahama has ridiculed the governing New Patriotic Party, NPP, over the challenges it is facing in managing the country's economy. According to him, the NPP was only good at making promises ahead of the 2016 elections, but lacked the ability to properly manage the economy and deliver on these promises. John Mahama made the comments while addressing delegates of the National Democratic Congress, NDC, at Tatale in the northern region. I haven't seen a single factory in any district yet. And the question we ask ourselves, where are the factories? Where are the factories? Where are the dams? Where is the one million dollars per constituency? Now what this teaches you is that it is easier to make electoral promises than to fulfill them. It is easier to give political lectures on the economy than to manage the economy. Any economics lecturer can give lectures on the economy, but not every lecturer can manage the economy. To paraphrase, you can do all the propaganda you like to win political power. When you come into government, the reality of the people's lives will expose you. And let's get to some other stories. And the Chief Justice, Sophia Kufu, is entreating newly inducted lawyers to uphold the good values 
of the profession. Her ladyship was speaking at an enrollment ceremony organized earlier today. My colleague Rita Mensah has more in this report. The enrollment of the 279 new lawyers took place at the Accra International Conference Center with hundreds of people in attendance to give support to the new barristers. The Chief Justice, who was the chairperson of the ceremony, admonished the new lawyers to uphold the tenets of the noble profession. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Integrity and good character are of paramount importance in the legal profession. These are qualities. They cannot be counted. And yet, they are of the greatest importance. Stated differently, a lawyer should not be distinguished by his or her garb, the famous wig and gown which you've donned today with your bibs, but rather by his or her ethical conduct, language, etiquette, knowledgeability, professionalism, etc., etc., etc. A lawyer's manners in speech and action, as well as in their sartorial habits, should stand them in good stead as a person of noble character. So you should, um, you should go to Chaucer and read the qualities that Chaucer gave of the noble knight. You will learn a lot from there. Truth, freedom, honor, courtesy. These are hallmarks. There are more. And the City FM's Literacy Challenge comes off to a, a climax tomorrow at the Swiss Spirit and Sweet Alisa Hotel with the final quiz competition among all 10 finalists. The participants who are being camped at the hotel for three days are expected to battle it out for the ultimate prize of 10,000 Ghana CDs tomorrow at the same venue.